everybody, it's RF Tech Guy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put together the set of eyes. Now, I did make some updates to this. I added threading to these eyes because I was having an issue with the clips. These updates will be going on to Colts 3D, and you can get it from there and download it. So I'm going to get started right now. This is the base, and here's the eyeballs. And I made this hole a little bit wider. This is going to be like a clip, uh, clip on pupil. So the first thing you're going to want to do, uh, I already have a part together here. But the first thing I like to do is put this piece together. The first thing you're going to need is these two hole plates. And, well, this is the eye rod here. You're going to need four of these. These are the left-right uh, bars here. So this is an eye nut. Now, this this is to hold the, eye, the eyes onto the main part. But you're going to want to add these to these before you even put any of this together. So if you have any issues with any of these ball joints when you're printing them, like, as you can see, I have a flat surface here. You're going to want to sand it down and smooth out that surface. I'm gonna be putting together a few sets to do a few different animatronics. Spooky Threads is working on a, a new mask and we're hoping we could get that out. So I don't know which design you guys are gonna get. Uh, right now I know the design that's out there. We have these uh, number four screws and these are difficult to find. I'll put a link in the description on where you could get these. But I, I ended up changing the design a bit so that uh, I can have washers on my parts. So I actually changed them to um, main board screws or motherboard screws for when you're putting together your computer. Those actually work better for these eyes because they have a wider head. They have they pretty much have the washer attached and it's a lot easier to deal with. But this is still my older design and I had enough of these printed so I'm not I didn't want to have to um, throw away all these prints. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put it together with these number four screws. Okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do Let's clip that onto there. Make sure it moves smooth. If it doesn't move smooth, uh, you're gonna wanna drill these out a little bit more because it'll uh, stress out the little motors, the little servos that we're gonna be putting in here. These are little washers I got from Lowe's. I just use these screws to make sure that the parts don't fall out. We wanna make sure that these four hole plates don't come loose from the eye rod. All right, so the next part we're gonna wanna put on is the left, right bars. But before we do this, we're actually gonna wanna put these eye nuts on here. Just gonna hold the eyes into place. This is what they look like. And they go on there pretty simple, pretty easily. Yeah, so I, I've actually already put these eyes on Colts 3D and if you downloaded the original version of, well, my original version, I'm sorry, because I didn't realize how much I modified after I printed um, some of these things and uh, I will be putting up all the modifications and then just this year I added some more modifications, so... You know this this whole uh, this whole eye design has been a work in progress. That's the way it usually goes. You design something, you find flaws, you redesign it, redesign it until you get it right or more efficient. All right, so the finished part should look something like this. I unfortunately right now I don't have an extra motor motor horn, and I'm actually thinking of changing out this piece because uh, I've been having issues with the print. I don't know how everybody else is going to handle it, but. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be a lot better if we just use the original piece that comes with the motor. So what I would have to do is just shave this down here and that would be pretty simple to do a design or if you already printed it, just cut it. But I think we should try that with this piece right here. I think I'm gonna try that. All right, so for this, I'm gonna cut this piece off. So this is the piece uh, now without the motor horn. We're gonna try using the original uh, parts that come with the, with the little servos and this is the piece with the motor horn. So I already know that the little pieces that come with the motor work, so and this is pretty simple. It just slips in right there, right in through that little slot there. And unfortunately, this design here does not have the holes um, yet for the screws, so I'm gonna have to make them. The design that you're gonna get, if you download it on Coles 3D, it already has the holes. All right, pay no attention to the drill. Uh, I made some screw holes in there for it. Probably gonna have to go back and do the same. I don't know why I moved my drill. On the other side. Now we're going to put the up down servo here. All right. So hopefully. 
hopefully this fits well. Yeah, the shorter side's here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to change one more thing. Now we're gonna need this and this. And the most important thing here is that these two are aligned. All right, so I modified this as well. And hopefully that works. Oh, I like that. That's a good fit right there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the eye. First, we mount it onto the main part. We're gonna use that little threaded nut there. The only issue that I'm gonna run into, and I think I already ran into it with this, is that it's gonna limit the eye movement uh, a little bit. But I noticed last year that uh, the eye movement was a little too crazy anyways. Because when it comes to eye movement, you want it to be just enough to be noticeable. And if you make it too crazy, it, it kind of goes behind the mask and it, you're unable to see the eyes. All right. There it is. Now we're going to mount this one. And this one. Yeah, last year I, I feel like I put a lot of work into the into these green eyes. As you can see here. And now these are kind of unusable because these a lot of these clips ended up breaking as you can see right there now this one's not too bad but the other one that i have actually will not stay on if the if this thing moves side to side it just falls off So right here we got an Arduino. These Arduinos are like three for 20 bucks or you could get them for six for 30. I actually like these, uh, these are pretty good. I, it's not like my original design, but we can actually test out these eyes to see if they work properly with this. On these servos, the uh, brown is negative, the red is positive, and the orange is the switch. I think this is um, D5 and D3 are the two. I don't remember which one's up down and which one's left to right would be three. Up down would be five. And so we're gonna hook this up to the orange. And this is the power supply. So this side, this side, and this side are negative and positive. Positive would be, as you can see, it states, there it is, positive and negative. And that's actually how you can tell that you got it on the correct side. So any one of these positive or negative lines would work to power your Arduino. 
Let's not mix these up. So we're going to do... I got yellow as negative right now. And red, red as positive. And later on, I probably will be hooking these up with LEDs. That's why I designed the eyes the way I did, so that I could do some LEDs on them. Now we got negative, positive. Let's flip these around here. And then later on, um, in the next video, I'll probably be hooking it up to the animatronic. Like I said, my, my Grinch from last year actually broke. I was supposed to make a long form video, but uh, I didn't have everything ready yet. This actually is a lot of hours of design in the making. Um, I put a, a lot of hours into this recently. We got the trigger, the positive. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but I do have this uh, hooked up to D3 and D5. Those are the two triggers I have programmed for these small Arduinos. And this is a basic uh, program. The, it's not like the one that I had for my original animatronic. That, that main board is still programmed um, a little bit different. All right, let's power this up. So if the motion is actually set up too much for the eyes, uh, it'll the motors will lag. Like you'll see it to start to struggle once it gets to a certain point. So I got this hooked up to a battery bank right now. It's an old battery bank. Now we do is press this button and these eyes should turn on. A moment of truth and usually it's a disappointment. So let's see. Oh. Yeah, I think I am going to change it because I like this. These motor horns are a lot better. The, the ones that came with the design were malfunctioning. Focus on the motor horn. There you go. So thank you guys for watching RF Tech Guy. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.